Okay, mga kawama? So, ngayon, magdi-discuss na naman tayo ng isa sa mga uri ng graph na pwede nating maggamitin kapag uh, we are doing statistics. Okay, so kagaya nga ng paliwanag ko sa histogram, which is also one of the graphs used in statistics. Kung matatandaan natin na uh, sabi ko, ang histogram ay isang uri ng bar graph. So, ngayon, ipapaliwanag ko ano ba ang bar graph o ano ang pagkakaiba niya sa histogram. Okay. A bar graph uses bars of different lengths and of equal widths. So, para rin siyang histogram, gumagamit rin siya ng bars. Na iba-iba siyempre ang sukat, depende sa bilang ng frequency o yung bilang ng data. Now, anong pinagkaiba niya sa histogram? Ang bar graph, pwede mo itong i-graph vertically and horizontally. Hindi kagaya ng histogram, it can only be graph, pwede mo lang siyang i-graph vertically. So, dapat lagi lang patayo. Ang bar graph pa dito horizontal or it can be vertical. Okay, let's have an example. So, we will be constructing a bar graph using the data on students' preferred interest club. So, ito yung mga data, drama, dance, glee, culinary, and arts. So, sa drama, we have 45. For dance, we have 24. Glee, 36. Culinary is 18. Art is 21. So, paano natin gagawin ng bar graph? Simple lang. So, always remember na kapag ang inyong variable ay nasa baba, you have to place your frequencies on the left side. Pero kapag ang variable ninyo nasa left side, you have to place your frequency or number doon sa ating uh, part sa baba. Okay? Now, bakit pwede siyang magpalitan? Kasi nga kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, ang bar graph, pwede natin siyang gawin horizontal or vertical. So, pwede yung inyong mga variables doon sa siya yung nasa gilid. Itong mga bilang naman, siya yung nasa baba. Pwede rin namang as is. Yan, kagaya ng nakikita nyo dyan. So, how are we going to graph? So, sabi kanina, ang bar graph ay gumagamit ng bars. Okay. From the name itself, it uses bars. So, hindi tayo gagamit dyan ng circle. Siyempre, hindi pwede kasi you have to use bar nga. Okay, now, drama. We have 45 students who chose drama. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So, since ito ang 45 natin, so dapat ang graph mo hanggang dyan. Let's see. Okay. And then for dance, we have 24. So, ito si 24. Hindi siya dapat umabot ng 25. Ayan. Na, again, in graphing data in statistics, you can make use of different colors to show their differences. Pwede ka gumamit ng iba't ibang kulay para maipakita mo yung difference nila, yung pagkakaiba, yung uh, gap. Okay? And then for Glee, we have 36. So, so this is, since this is your 35, Angat lang ng konti. That is 36. Huwag po natin paabutin sa gitna. Kasi that will become 38 already. Okay? So, 36 is just here. And then, for culinary, students who cho choose culinary is 18. So, if this is 15, so 18 is between 15 and 20, and that is here. Okay? And then, We have arts, which is 21. So, since this is your 21, you have to graph it higher than 20s. 
So, ito yung 20 natin. Angat lang ng konti. Huwag ilalagay sa gitna. Right? So, this is an example of bar graph. Another example. Okay. Now, what if you were given uh, two categories for each uh, variable presented? Okay. So, di ba ang ang ano natin dito is, ang variable natin dito is yung club. And our, the choices are drama, dance, glee, culinary, and arts. Now, halimbawang naka-separate um, yung bilang ng boys sa girls. O, kagaya nga ng kanina, ito yung data natin kanina, ang drama ay 45. Ang babae doon ay 20, boys ay 25. Ang dance natin ay 24, ang babae ay 14, ang boys ay 10. And then, ganun din sa iba, 36, 18, 21. Ayan yung data natin kanina. So, na may bilang ang babay, bi, lalaki at babae. So, paano kapag ganito? Paano natin siya ikagraph? Using bar graph. Okay. Now, so, as is tayo, ang frequency natin nandito sa left side. Your variable should be placed below. Since meron tayong two categories, ang drama natin, meron tayong boys and girls. So, syempre, you have to put two spaces, okay, for the boys and for the girls. Now, pagtatabihin nyo sila, since Ang, boys, ang bilang ng boys and girls dito ay lahat na sa drama. So, pagtatabihin lang natin sila. Okay? And then for dance, kagaya ng sa drama, you have to uh, give space. Dapat meron tayong space dun sa dalawang categories mo. Kasi dalawa siya. And then for glee, ganun din, for culinary and for arts. Okay? So, how are we going to graph it? So, since ang drama natin, ang boys mo ay 25, ang girls mo ay 20. So, let's have, this is your boys. And then your girls. Okay. So, we have, we have this data according to the table. So, your boys, 25. Your girls, 20. Okay, so as you can see, gumamit ako ng magkaibang kulay para maipakita natin yung graph ng boys at ng girls. And then, pag tinoto nyo to, this is 25, and then this is 20, 25 plus 20, that is the total number for drama. And that is 45. Okay, so let's proceed to dance. So that is your dance. We have 10. So dapat... Ang girls natin, since ang naka-indicate dito ay 14, so dapat siguro nandi dito siya. Let's see. Alright, so ayan siya. So we have 14. So pag pinagsama natin yan, 10 plus 14, that is 24. Ayan yung total niya. And then same as Glee. Craft the boys, 17. And also the girls, we have 19. Okay, so that's it. And then, if we were going to get the total, that is 36. And then, for boys again, for culinary, we have 9, another 9. So, as you can see, since they are the same, the graph will also be the same. Dapat pareho rin ang graph mo. Hindi pwedeng pareho silang 9 dito. Tapos, merong mas mataas o mas mababa. So, dun palang makikita nyo na may mali. Right? And if you will be adding this to... 9 plus 9, that is 18. And, ayun siya. And then, for arts, we have 13 and 8. So, let's do the graph. 13 and 8. Okay, so here's your 13. This is your 8. So, if you will be getting the total, that is 21. Now, for every var uh, category, for drama, dance, glee, culinary, and arts, nakahiwalay sila. Diba? Pag in natin sila, nakahiwalay. Pero, yung boys and girls, pag pagsasamahin mo, since belong naman sila sa isang category. Tama? Alright. Now, as you can see also, mas madali nating nakita, ah, ito, baba, ito. Kasi, same color. And then, for boys, same color din sila. So, ibig sabihin, mas makita nat madali nating makikita yung 
graphnya. So this is another example of a bar graph. If you will be given two categories for each um, variable. That's all for bar graph. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell button. Again, like and subscribe and click the bell button. Follow us on Facebook. Don't, don't forget, wow math.